This is Tom Dupuy, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add rich snippets to your WordPress site using the all-in-one schema.org rich snippets plugin. So rich snippets are basically this extra information that appears in search results. So you can see this one has review stars, a rating, number of reviews, and a lot of good information that helps get clicks and traffic to your website. And it just makes you stand out in search engines and is awesome. So this um, can be done by marking up your pages, but you can't do this with any page. The page has to be a product page or a recipe or a review of something like a restaurant, movie, or store. It can be an event, so if you're hosting an event and you want to show certain times, um, you can. this is how it will appear, or a software and application. So if you Google Rich Snippets and come to this page, you can click these links to see how they, what you can do with them. But uh, it is pretty easy. The main difference between All-in-One Schema and other premium Rich Snippets plugin is this one has pretty good reviews and is free, but um, it is pretty limited as far as design and customization options. So. This is how it will look using the all-in-one schema.org rich snippets plugin. You'll have the basic, you know, really basic design, the required information needed for Google to understand your rich snippets and present it in their search results. Um, the one I use is WP Rich Snippets, and that allows you to add a really nice photo here, um, good editor rating, percentage, certain criteria, and it just has a lot of more a lot more design options and customizations and just looks nicer in my opinion. So if you're looking for a tutorial on that, I did include it in the YouTube video description. Otherwise, you can continue watching this and I'll show you how to get those rich snippets configured with the all-in-one schema.org plugin. So go ahead and go to your plugins menu and go to um, search for the plugin. Go ahead and install and activate it. And once you do that, just click the settings option. And then you can click this box to expand it and you know play around with the text. I like to leave this as is because you know it might affect how Google will crawl your data. But uh, customization has some design options you can play around with. Like I said, it's pretty limited. And here's some good information if you want to scroll through it. But it is pretty easy. Um, so go back to this Rich Snippets page on Google and just figure out what pages can be marked up with Rich Snippets. So if you have product pages, you can do those, recipe pages. So I'm just going to create one. Um, we'll go to WordPress and say I'm doing a review on GoDaddy Hosting example. So GoDaddy Hosting Review will be my article title. So I'm going to scroll down until I see this Configure Rich Snippet option. I'm going to click this box and since this is an item review I'm going to click that. Reviewer's name, Tom Dupuy. Item to be reviewed, GoDaddy Hosting that I'll give it four stars since it's decent <laughs> but uh, there it is I'm gonna add my content here and go ahead and publish the page of course you're gonna use Yoast to optimize it but that's a whole nother video so go ahead and preview the page and you can see how the rich snippet will look here it is, here's the information, pretty basic. But now let's see if it's actually going to work. So instead of Googling this page and testing it immediately, it's, it's not gonna work because Google takes a few days to update their search results. And a much better way is to use Google's structured data testing tool. So basically you just grab the URL 
and then uh, hit fetch URL and click fetch and validate and Google will tell you if your rich snippets are configured properly so I see all good so that's good I can assume once Google crawls my page and indexes it in their search results that it will be working and I will see the review stars and other information but if you do see errors in these um, you can click to expand and you might see some errors sometimes it's as easy as filling out a field you forgot about um, but I will go over some common solutions in case they're not working so like I said uh, fill out all the required fields in your rich snippet plugin when you're marking up the page make sure the rich snippet data is accurate and aligns with the content on the page so if I'm doing a rich snippet about a event um, that page should really be focused on the event. It shouldn't be combined with other pages. Adding markup to more than one page instead of just having one page marked up is a good practice. So average snippets to a few more pages might help. That was actually recommended by Google. You can update your WordPress software. You can go to the allinoneschema.org plugin and view their support right here. So a lot of people have posted questions. Visit this Google form. And like I said, I'll provide all these links and resources in the YouTube video description. But this has a lot of good FAQs um, from Google about rich snippets. You can visit the Google uh, structured data section of your Google Search Console. Um, honestly, the structured data testing tool is better, so I would just use that. And then lastly, just make sure you com comply with Google structured data policies. Most people do. Um, just write, you know, as long as you're not spammy or anything, you're not doing shady things, then you should be fine. Non-visible content, you know, you should be okay. So that's really it. Uh, it's just a matter of going to um, installing the plugin, configuring those settings to whatever you want, and then finding out which pages can be marked up, selecting those pages, and um, filling out all the required information. Depending on which item you select in here, uh, the plugin will ask you for different information. So for a video, you know, you're going to fill out the video title and description and the thumbnail and everything. So just fill all that out. Test it in Google Structured Data Testing Tool. And as long as you're all good, you should be fine. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. Otherwise, good luck to you.